What is going on guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web with part 2 of our prize highlights. So we're just going to cover our dungeon heroes for this event. Starting with Consolator, who is basically just a recolor. So um, I don't like the recolors look. It looked like it's poisoned or something. <laughs> but anyway, to break Consolator down here, um, Consolator is an air rogue. So the agility as well as the attack should be decent but this is a low attack rogue so only agility here guys on this one um, stats off of the edge 2660 HP 2025 attack 1381 defense 1964 wisdom and 4958 agility for a total stat base of 12988 single target sting skill based off of agility one core down blah 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 We've had like a billion of them. So um, nothing special here, guys. Honestly, Consolator is garbage. Um, really, the only thing you want to use her for is Agility Superfuse Fodder, which if you were to do that, you would get 594. And that is really it. Um, there would honestly be no other reason why you would want to use her. Just either Superfuser or Seller. That's it. Next, we got Lido here. Um... I'm liking his look. He got a whole bunch of gear on him, look like. Um, so he got a pretty cool look to him. But to break this guy down, Lido is a water champ. So the HP, the attack, and the defense will be heightened on this fighter. To get his stats off of the edge, 4602 HP, 5263 attack, 2821 defense, 664 wisdom, and 883 agility. For a total stat base of 14,233. So, smash all adept with a cooldown of three skillers based off of attack. Um, yeah, the biggest problem with this guy, guys, is going to be that cooldown. Smash all adept isn't a bad skill, but with a cooldown of three, it just, it's not good. It's not looking good at all. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that just forces this guy to be used as Super Fuse Fodder, which if you were to do so, you could get either 552 HP or 631 attack. So, um, as far as this guy, he may be s s somewhat moderately priced. I mean, usually Dungeon Fighters are extremely cheap because there is pretty much a guarantee to be a large number of them. But I'm thinking he may be a, just a hair more expensive than um, the other ones here uh, of the main three first dungeon fighters here anyway because of that 631 that's pretty uh it's pretty nice attack fighter there and that's about it for little really no other purpose for him super fuse him or sell him just like the last one and last but not least we have beltane here so um beltane i don't know to me it's, it just looks weird i don't know i don't know if that's a veil on her face or is I don't know what's going on with Beltane. It just looks weird. But um anyway, to break Beltane down, we got a Earth Warlock here. So the wisdom and the attack will be heightened on this one. Stats off of the edge, 2682, 4378 attack. 2682 is his HP, by the way. I apologize. 4378 attack, 2227 defense. 3501 wisdom and 428 agility for a total stat base of 13,216. So, Grime Elite single target, two cooldown skill based off of attack. Um, so yeah, once again, we got another one here, guys. Straight up super fuse fodder. Um, a single target skill that only procs every uh, after two turns is just no. Big no no. Big no no. So that forces Beltane to be used as Super Fuse Fodder. And in my opinion, the only stat worth using is attack. Which, if you were to do so, you would get 525 attack. So, just as in previous dungeon event, guys, these top three dungeon fighters here are just not the business at all. <laughs> they just Super Fuse Fodder. Get yourself some super fuse fodder if you need it. You have options between agility, HP, and attack this time around. So um, if you need either of those three, these guys would definitely be decent choices for that. Um, other than that, I would just sell them. 
If you're not going to superfuse them, just please sell them. Get a few bidders out of it. Use it towards something else. Now, usually I would compare these fighters, guys, but I'm not even going to bother considering the fact that they're all just extremely horrible. They're not even worth comparing. I mean, we've had so many single target stings now. It's just like, whatever. She's not the best one, honestly. Um, probably the best single target sting nowadays is going to be high tackle here this event. Um, other, other than that, um, yeah, nothing really going on there. And um, Lido, Smash All Adept with Beltane, Grimes, Single Target Elite. We had a ton of those as well. I mean, these fighters are just horrible. I think this event is pretty much going to get me to now start comparing fighters that are actually worth comparing instead of just comparing them all. Um, if they're not even worth it, I'm probably not even going to bother comparing them anymore. Just give you guys the raw breakdown of the stats, what they could be useful for, and what I personally would use them for. And that's about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the second part of our prize highlights for the Darlings of May Special Dungeon event. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more, guys. Later.